Let's go to the next problem. Let f dash of x is sin of x square and y is f of x square plus 1. Then divide by dx at x is equal to 1 is option A 2 sin 2, option B 2 cos 2, option C 2 sin 4, option D cos 2. What is given? f dash of x is sin of x square. What is y? f of x square plus 1. What is dy by dx? dy by dx is f dash of x square plus 1 into differentiation of x square plus 1 that will give you 2x into f dash of x square plus 1. What is dy by dx at x is equal to 1? dy by dx at x is equal to 1 is 2 into 1 into f dash of 1 plus 1. 2 into f dash of 2. But f dash of x is sin of x square. Therefore, f dash of 2 is sin of 2 square. What is sin of 2 square? Sin of 2 square is sin 4. So, what is the answer? 2 into 1 into sin 4 that is 2 sin 4 that is clearly option C is correct. Solution f dash of x is sin of x square. Y is f of x square plus 1. dy by dx is f dash of x square plus 1 into 2x. Therefore, dy by dx at x is equal to 1 is 2 into f dash of x that is 2 into sin 4. I hope dear students you have understood this. So, dy by dx at x is equal to 1 is 2 into sin 4 option C is correct. Now, let us go to the next problem. sin x cos y is equal to 1 then d square y by dx square at pi by 4 comma pi by 4 is option a minus 4 option b minus 2 option c minus 6 option d 0 so what is given 2 sin x cos y is equal to 1 2 sin x cos y is equal to 1, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y into y dash is equal to 0. How did you get this? Differentiating. Differentiating what we will get? 2 sin x cos y is equal to 1. Therefore, sin x cos y is equal to 1 by 2. Differentiate both the sides, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y into y dash is equal to 0. Therefore, y dash at pi by 4 and pi by 4 is 1. y dash is equal to cot x cot y. y dash after simplification you will get it as cot x cot y. How did you get this? Shift negative part to the right hand side and rearrange the terms. You will get cos x by sin x into cos y by sin y is equal to y dash that is cot x into cot y. So, y dash is cot x into cot y. Remember y dash at x is equal to pi by 4 is cot pi by 4 into cot pi by 4 that is equal to 1 into 1 that is equal to 1. So, y dash at pi by 4 and pi by 4 is 1 and whereas y dash is cot x into cot y. Now, what is differentiation of y dash that is y double dash y double dash is cot x into cosecant square y with minus sign into dy by dx plus cot y into cosecant square x with minus sign. Now, what is the value of each at x is equal to pi by 4 and pi by 4. y double dash is minus cot x cosecant square y into y dash minus cot y into cosecant square x. y double dash at pi by 4 and pi by 4 is minus of 1 into 2 into 1 minus of 1 into 2 that is so that is equal to minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. We will get it as minus 2 minus 2. Minus 2 minus 2 is what? Minus 4. So, option A minus 4 is correct. So, what is the procedure we did here? Very simple. First, we determine the value of y dash 
at pi by 4 and pi by 4. Y double dash at pi by 4 and pi by 4 is what we have to find out. Y double dash is differentiate that once again. Put x is equal to pi by 4 and y is equal to pi by 4. And of course, of course, y dash equal to 1. Because y dash at pi by 4, pi by 4 will be equal to 1. So, of course, this looks like a simple problem and I hope you have understood this. The number of points of non-differentiability for the function f of x is equal to maximum of mod of mod x minus 1, 1 by 2 is option A 4, option B 3, option C 2 and option D is 5. Look at this. Now, let us draw the graph of maximum of mod of mod x minus 1 and 1 by 2. Look at this. First, mod x minus 1. This is no doubt. Sorry. This is actually mod x. Mod x minus 1 is this. This is the graph of mod x minus 1. Mod of mod x minus 1 means retain the part of the graph here and write the replica below x axis. Replica of the part which is below x axis. So, it will be like this. So, this is the graph. This is the graph of see here whatever I am drawing now. This is the graph of mod of mod x minus 1. This is the graph of mod f mod x minus 1. Now, and 1 by 2. Mod of mod x minus 1 meets x axis, y axis at 0 comma 1. Now, now, y is equal to 1 by 2. Y is equal to 1 by 2 must be here. Don't get confused about this line. This is actually mod x. Only for the reference I have drawn. Otherwise, you can erase this also. So, that you will not get confused. Okay. Now, so, y is equal to 1 by 2 is a line like this. Now, maximum of this and this graph. So, maximum means this particular graph, this part of the graph, this is above this line. Now, whereas between this point to this point, so you will have this graph is above, this line is above this graph. Again, it continues like this. Whichever is above, just retain. See? This is a simple graph like this. It looks like a part of W, a peculiar kind of graph this is, right? So, you can see here how many points of non-differentiability are there. Wherever you have a sharp edge, function is not differentiable. Therefore, how many points are there? See here, this is first point, this is second point, this is third point, this is fourth point, this is fifth point. There are totally five points where the function is not differentiable. We are just using the basics of function. So, I took lot of classes for functions. The intention behind explaining you so much about the function is this. Now, the chapter differentiability, the chapter continuity, area enclosed between the curves and many other chapters will be very easy for you if your basics are very strong about the functions. Therefore, anyway, option D, 5 is correct because there are totally 5 points of non-differentiability. First, I drew the graph of mod x, then mod x minus 1 and its replica and the retain the part of the graph, whichever is bigger among mod of mod x minus 1 and 1 by 2. So, therefore, option D, 5 is correct.